Hey, how you doing? This is an interesting video. So is it efflorescence? Is it white fuzzy mold? Or is it some kind of weird salt? That's the question. Well, guess what? They could be all three. But today we're going to do the, we're going to show you what the, the growth looks like. And so when you see white on a foundation, it's efflorescence. You know what? How do you get white efflorescence? Well, guess what? The salts leach out of the material because they're wet. So that doesn't mean they have to be wet. They could just be moist. And it doesn't mean you're going to have a floody basement. A lot of new homes have efflorescence, okay? At the mortar joints, it's white. And um, I don't know, maybe you could scrape it off. I, unless, I don't think it's a problem. Run a dehumidifier. But if it leaks, it's a whole other issue. So here we got white efflorescence, okay? But then also, we have something else. We have it, we see the white efflorescence on the ground. And like, what is that? And look at that. Now, sometimes that is efflorescence and salt, because you could scrape it off a wall, a wall that's heavy duty. But this is a little bit different. Um, and so this actually looks like a growth. I mean, it's out of focus, but let me get close. There you go. And so that's looks like something's growing out of the ground and i never tested it but you can see you can see the texture of it um it's some type of growth and you know what sometimes you just you don't test it because it costs money you just like okay why is it growing why is it leaching what's going on here well obviously you've got damp rise on floors this is on a foundation and if you have damp rise you're going to have moisture and mold will generally grow now this stuff here is there that's a better view and you can see it's kind of i mean it's growing up okay so it's some kind of bio growth because of high humidity and i'm sure you could send it to a lab and do a genius or speciate it and find out what it is it doesn't matter what you do is you clean it you sweep it up you wash the floor you paint the floor you run a dehumidifier you go clean your gutters you fix the grating you find out where the water is coming in where the hydrostatic pressure is coming from slow down a damp rise just real quick these old houses you know, when they built these old homes, they didn't have plastic. They didn't invent it yet. So a lot of these foundation floors in your basement, especially in old homes, don't have a vapor barrier. So if you've got hydrostatic pressure or moisture, old drain tile says because you've got a tree out front, you know, your grading was poor. They're plugged up. And a lot of times houses, they are plugged up. And you've got slow, sluggish conditions. You get damp rise and moisture comes out of the floor. And and you'll see that it cracks like white spots. But this, this is a growth. Um, it's, in my book, it's, it's a problem for moisture, just like the efflorescence was. So either way, they're both moisture issues. Solve the moisture problem. You know, a lot of people like to go test mold. Hey, if you see mold, you smell mold. Guess what? You got mold. I got a video called um, Mold. We've all been scammed. I did about 15, 20 years ago. Um, check it out. It's on my it's on my uh, YouTube Cleveland Marco channel, M-A-R-K-O. Also, if you have any questions about house problems you can send them to me you can send me photos um i I've, I've been doing this for 40 years um 18 000 inspections i'm an engineer i've written a book I, i've had a lot of licenses especially environmentals so anything to do with houses that nobody else can solve or you want a second opinion on or you just want uh, uh, you want me to explain something for you that's fine this is called an anomaly you know this is like the one in the 10,000 phone call uh, we don't get stuff like this this much, but um, I didn't test it because it was a phone thing, and uh, they did what I said, and guess what? It didn't come back. But anyways, uh, thanks for coming on. Also, below I have some links. I'm an Amazon affiliate. Hey, you could whatever you want, just go to one of my links, hit it, and punch in what you want. Um, it'll help me out. I get like 1.8% of that. And then also rate, subscribe, and ring the bell to alert you to more videos. So. Rate, subscribe, share, and call Mark with a question. Thanks for coming out.